I'm here to talk about some advanced functions in Excel. First one that we're going to do here, we're doing a semester average here. And what it is, we're doing the ID, we're just based on the last four digits of the social security number to protect identity. So when I do formulas, I often just type it in and then I go into this cell here and I only want the last four digits. Type in a four, have that, pull it down. So this person's last four digits were, you can see how it changes instantly in there. Next thing I want to do here, I have this illustrated up in here. We're going to do a nested if statement. What it means is we look at the formulas here, the OK I should say, they're going to get based on points listed over here poor, okay, good. And when you do this, you got to do it really slowly, think it out, and you got to type this. I don't know if you can really use a wizard. I've been typing this out in the past. So I just type in here, equal if, close the parentheses, and I want to say my homework equals, I'm going to go consecutively here, if it's this, make it an absolute. That is what the award will be to the student if it's poor. They lose two points. So I'm going to go in here. I finish this. Hit the comma. I don't need to type in the false because there's three different trues. We don't have to worry about any falses. If there's something else in here, it's going to display the word false. We'll see something in a couple of minutes when I have this done. So the next thing we're going to do is say if left parenthesis, I want to say if this cell equals OK, make it a constant. I didn't hit the comma. As you can see, I'm not saying anything because I know I'll make a mistake doing this. Now, since I have three left parentheses, I've got to type in the right parenthesis three times. So, he's getting two points. If you do this stuff, make sure you verify that you did this right. I did the test averages already for you, uh, where you're working with this times this absolute here. Other things you can do on your own semester average all you have to do is add this here now I want to do the grade then we're going to do the ranking then we're done and the grading is used with the VLOOKUP we highlight it's working within here and I want to do a name a range here you don't put the column in here. We're going to do the VLOOKUP here. I just click inside here and I type in grades. So we're doing a lookup here. So I could say equal V lookup and lookup value is this. Table array. I could actually just type in grades. I don't have to F4 this. And then if we look at the data down here, there's two columns, one column, two columns. We're going to use the second column. Type in a two, close the parentheses, complete it. The student has a D, pull it down. What I want to do now, I want to know what their rank is, whether they're number one or number two or number eight or whatever. So to do that, it's very easy. Equal rank, 
left parenthesis. This is the number. Don't do it on the letter grade. And then I'm just going to base it on the range here. I'll make this a constant. I could have named it before if I had wanted to. Close the parenthesis. Pull it down. We could do averages and other things here. Just trying to show you the core basics. This is the if statement here, and I'm going to make this really big. So you can see the first condition here. If it's this, if it's that, that's what they display. If it's I4 equals this, it's that. If it's that, I'm going to delete this. Now, what it is here, and somebody says lousy. It's just going to say false. You've got to have those words in there to do this.